Hi everybody. I got a 2014 Volvo D13. I got an oil leak and it's uh, right behind this uh, crankshaft filter. So the leak is coming uh, between the block and the filter. And it's a rubber gasket that is between both of those two. And uh, you can see Lake is coming right there. And to get that uh, filter out, we're going to have to, it has four uh, bolts, 10 millimeter bolts. So that's one right there two, three, and four. And as, as you can see, this one's here, you will not be able to pull them out because they're about seven inches long. So all you gotta do is loosen them up and leave them there. The only thing you can take is this one out. But make sure you know which one goes in which because the top one, are longer than the bottom ones. So the same bolts you take out have to go in the same spot. But before you remove this, we gotta create some room so we'll be able to take it out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this uh, Tim T10 uh, screw. So I'm just gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna take this uh, power steering uh, oil reservoir. I'm gonna loosen it up and pretty much move it out of the way because this thing is gonna come out. Then I'm gonna uh, remove this uh, hose that connects the valve cover. All you do is uh, squeeze it from here, then pull it out. I'm gonna remove the, this bolt 10 millimeter and the same thing as here you don't have to but I'm gonna have to uh, do it just to play it safe and uh, we'll go from there I'll show you once I get everything removed out of the way and loosen it up and then I'll show you how to uh, get that filter out of the way so I remove uh, all the hoses but one more thing that I forgot to mention is uh, the bottom uh, hose and I did uh, loosen up all four um, 10 millimeter bolts and uh, as you can see it's still stuck in there so all you gotta do is just gotta pry it out but before you gotta make sure you have to, you have something to collect the oil because it is gonna drain uh, a little bit so so you gotta pickle it and it should come out So there it is, and this is the casket that we're gonna uh, replace, which is pretty simple, pretty sp nothing special to it. Um, but what I'm gonna do right now is uh, I'm gonna clean up this whole area here. And like I said, just make sure uh, the bolts 
if you decide to move them out of the way or take them out just make sure they go on the same spot and uh, you're gonna install it the same as you took it out so as you can see three bolts are still there okay so if you install it with those uh, without those three bolts you're gonna have you're gonna have to take it out you're gonna have to take it out again reinsert the bolts because as you can see they're pretty long and once it's in there you will not be able to insert it because the frame rail is right here so um, I'll show you once everything's in there once I start the truck and see you there So as you can see, I got everything uh, installed, filter installed, uh, power steering, um, reservoir tank installed. And I had to run it for at least half an hour. And uh, as you can see, it's dry. So good right now um hopefully uh this video can help you and um uh, any questions uh just leave a comment